Hi everyone, this is Jake Clark from Fargo 3D Printing. What we're going to do today is install Fargo 3D Printing's gaffer's tape onto your MakerBot Replicator 2 build platform. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your current build platform out of your MakerBot Replicator 2. If you currently have blue painter's tape on your platform or any other kind of tape, you're going to want to take that off and make sure that the surface is nice and clean with the frosted side up if you have an acrylic build plate. Next, you're going to take your Fargo 3D printing gaffer's tape, cut the end open, and then there will be two pieces of gaffer's tape inside the packaging. What you'll do next is you'll take your build platform as well as your gaffer's tape end, peel that off, peel the backing off the gaffer's tape, line the end up with the horizontal end of the platform. You'll notice that there's also horizontal lines in the acrylic. You'll want to line that up as you're putting down the gaffer's tape. So we'll line that up there on the end, like so. Then we'll take a credit card, in this case a key card, and we're going to run that along the gaffer's tape so that we get all the air bubbles out of the gaffer's tape. If we have air bubbles in there, it'll actually cause uh, misprinting. So we're going to keep pushing that down until we get to the end, and it'll line up perfectly on the end. So now you'll notice a gap in the middle. That's fine. Don't worry about that. That's normal. Once we're done with that, we'll put it back into the MakerBot and get 3D printing again. Thanks everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put those down below. Otherwise, for Fargo 3D Printing, this is Jake Clark. Make sure you get printing, stay printing, and change the world.